to our last stage, which is the butterfly. So, you can pop your butterfly on top of the cocoon and take a picture. Now move it out the way. Pop your butterfly on there, I'd take another one. And then let's add our label in, so the last stage is the butterfly. And then we're going to do some big flying motions, so there's a big jump there, remember to move the label. So label across, move the butterfly so it looks like it's flying. Move the label across, I'm going to make it jump this way now. So by pointing the wings in different directions it's really going to look like it's flying when we press play. So mine's going right up into the clouds. The label's fully gone now. So we'll see if we can get the butterfly off the end to finish it off. Almost there. So when you're doing yours, try and do it less wobbly than me. Really take your time with it, so lots of little stages. And then what you can do to finish yours off is put a title in the middle with your name on, it's up to you. So I did have Miss Jennings there, you can add it if you want to with your name on. And then let's do one final check to see if we've got our stop frame animation. So we're right back to the start. We've used 62 slides, so don't worry if you've used any more or less, it doesn't matter as long as we've got that life cycle there. So let's press play. So there's our title disappearing. There are the eggs. Then we've got our caterpillar going to the flower, turning into the chrysalis, spinning around, and then look, our butterfly flying off. So have a go, try your best. It is tricky, so just take your time. Remember, you're taking lots and lots of pictures. Small movements is really good, and I can't wait to see them.